Last week in Kentucky, there was a horrible windstorm, and Philip and I were here in Florida watching the devastation on social media. In our beekeepers group in Kentucky, their hives were knocked down. We saw other farms with their cages and infrastructure destroyed, and we had no idea what was happening to our homestead while we were here in Florida. It didn't take long, and finally, a security camera sent us an image and our bee boxes were in a pile on the ground. When I got that picture, I could see the devastated boxes, but I was looking behind to see what else I could tell. And there was a very important piece of the homestead completely missing from the picture. Philip decided he had to take a trip to Kentucky to check out the devastation. So come along and let's see what he found. I think we had a little tornado come through and we kind of sit down in a, a hole. I feel like it was like a little drain. So when the wind came through, it came through and it literally took our canopy and pushed it up and over the top of the RV all the way up into the front. And on the front or top side of the roof, we have a couple tears in the liner and one hole where the top corner post came through. But if you look, there's a concrete post right there. Well, this is one, that's two. So one actually started here. Let's see, one started about right here. This is two. And then the third one was over here. Then the fourth one's over here. So one concrete was down here on the end. It came up and over the top and that's what the part's bent. And it goes right down the back side. It's right over there. It just missed the slide on the backside. Now, it tore up our canopy just a little bit, so now I've got to replace that. The, RV, the grill roof and solar panel is now leaning forward just a little bit. So here's the next section. We covered all of our wood before we left. Thankfully, nothing's wrong with the sawmill. We covered this with a tarp as well as a couple sheets of metal. However, if you look through the woods, that piece of metal, which this is a creek line right in through here. That piece of metal was on top of this wood pile. And then that piece of metal way over by the pond was also over here on top. There's also, we keep about four or five chairs Adirondack style up on top. They're now in the creek. And then Eric put this frame together for us to start putting a tarp so we can cover all this stuff and work when we come up. I didn't tarp it because it was just going to blow around or catch snow. And now it's all mangled up in the creek. And then our other wood pile over here has been uncovered again. And our beehives way up there at the top. I took a look this morning when I came in about 2.30 in the morning and thankfully we still have bees. So this cold weather is probably what saved us and why we still have them. So here's one more video of where our stuff ended up. And there's our chairs down in the creek. Oh, and there's a chair over there by the pond. So what I think happened is that wind came down, comes across from the southwest side this way, came down into this little hole, did a little swirl. It probably also was so wide it hit that and did a little swirl and came in and it went right back out this direction and shoved everything back towards the pond. On the back side of the barn, we keep all of our supplies for plumbing and fencing and so it's a mess back here the culverts but the back of the barn from one side on the other side there's some purlins that went across we just use them as side supports to attach the metal roofing 
well, they were nailed to each other on the end, so there's no upright other than in a couple of spots. So basically this whole wall has blown out and pushed back towards the, uh, the creek. That's how I know which direction it probably came. Yeah, we had a little twister come through. I've got cedar trees down on both sides of the creek. One over there, one over there, on the other side of the pond. And then the canopy, not canopy, the plastic that was covering the bank so that we don't have any weeds grow got rolled back. Here's some more, there's some trees over here by The uh, shoot house is back there, and these cedar trees are literally uprooted, and this one's cracked. So here's another view of our pond, and this was underneath our hives. And if you look real close, this is the top to one of the beehives. And the rest of the hives are actually up the hill. Here's parts of the top that's just totally mangled. And then I have more remnants over there in the wood line of my beehives. And this is where the pond was. See your trees got ripped down and I was finding pieces of the beehives over there. And you can see the metal that came from the other side that was put on top of the wood and that's metal that was on the other side of the creek. It literally got blown through the woods or up in the air and dropped back down. But here's a chair that was over there by the wood pile. <clears throat> and then there's a bunch of chairs right down here in the creek that are all broken up. And you can see the metal frame that got tossed into the creek that we didn't put a cover on it right. just yet. So here's our mess. Here's some of the stuff I collected from the creek way down there and all scattered in the woods. Some of the tops are just torn up, mangled. So the insulation here is what I wrapped around the beehives to try to get them through the winter. And give us a second to focus. You can see we got some bees in there, but this hive is completely upside down. And We've got a bunch more bees in here, so I am extremely happy we didn't lose our bees. We've literally just got a mess to clean up and now figure out what pieces I could put together to make the hives because there's some broken pieces in there. Here we are, Kowalski actual mountain apiary. And it looks like we had a little tornado spin through here and shake things up a little bit. So what I did is I actually had a game camera on my hives in the event that something came by to disturb them. And thankfully I did because then I got alert that a few days ago when that storm weather came through, the wind actually pushed over my hives. Unbeknownst to me, there was a lot more damage back behind that my wife picked out. No canopy over the RV. And then when I actually got up, so I figured I had to get up here real quick and assess the situation and check out the damage before we had any further damage. So here I am trying to put the pieces of the puzzle back together again. Addison, this is one for you. This is a puzzle I wish I could get your help on. So what I'm going to do is, I pretty much know that this was my dead hive and then my other hives were over here on the right hand side. Now I've got to put them back together. Unfortunately, I had four hives here, three were good. Now I need to kind of just put them straight back and hope that I put them all back in the same order. But I'm also leery that a few days have gone by that they might have started to make another queen because now all the boxes are actually separate. So they would have thought that the queen swarmed. So let's keep our fingers crossed. I'm gonna go through this as quick as I can, see how long the camera actually lasts battery-wise. Good chance to do a little maintenance of the hives too. Don't normally get to the bottom. And I'd really, even though 
the sun comes up and over, I think I'd like to have these facing downhill. I might change it again later. So I'm gonna go with what I know. This hive right here, I need to pick it back up and stick it in here. Now how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna have to figure out how to hold these frames without letting them all fall out. So far so good. Yeah, you girls are a little pissed off. And they're trying to sting like crazy. Totally understandable. So of course, is dirty. There's dirt in here. I think I might just let them take the dirt out. I'll get the bulk of it. This is empty. All right, I'm gonna assume that my queen is still up inside there. Get my boxes all set. next one I'll say that that's complete but I think those boxes actually go on top of here and what I really need to do is take a pause and look at my videos and see what was where activity in this bottom box at all so I need to figure out where it went stink all right I need to take a pause I gotta check videos okay I think I got it these go on top of this one this Smoke me out too. Whew. This one, nothing on the bottom. They moved up into the top. Okay, and this clump of junk is actually what was in there. Right. Stick this in there. Well, they got plenty of space, but no real resources. I'm going to take this sugar block and put that in there. Maybe that'll help them out. I do have some pollen. Let's 
side where the frames could actually go all the way down should be okay that way all right oh see how delicate we now they've built up the whole bottom they've had a bunch of burr comb on the bottom Well, I uh, guess I'll have to take them a couple frames at a time. In hopes that my jacket don't open up. They start going in, I'm going to be running around like a little girl. Nice, got some brood. That's good to see. Pop it open real quick for the queen, don't see her. Got the queen, nice. Good. Visually saw the queen. Mm. I do not want to drop any more bees. Oops. About to do it right there. Empty frame, empty frame. Now the next question is, oh, here we go. Now I know where these frames went. like the sugar blocks are gonna work well down the bottom. So I'm gonna stick what I can down in the crack. This on top. to go there in give them a bunch of sugar I got a lid for them I don't know we're starting to come out of spring 
I guess I could put an empty shell on the top. Pack it with a bunch of sugar. There's some pollen. Now we got a lot of bees down here on the ground that really don't have a home. do this without getting stung. Oh, they're nice and warm. All right. Did what I could. Let the close one up. I'll get the oil trap ready to go. should be okay. There, that'll be one. Sorry, girl. Go in there. Now I got this other bottom box. What a mess. <laughs> One, two, and three. Yeah, they're not happy at all. Oops. I don't know if they'll. Oh, now I'm pulling a mason. Ouch! Well, sorry, mason. I did just like you. I should have put my pants over my boots. I got one down in my pant leg. It's got me on the side of the foot. Let's hope these girls find their way home. I'm not gonna pick them up off the ground. All right, one oil trap ready. Let's close this one up. good and guess what brick means queen is in there queen right this one I have not confirmed and then with as testy as they are I don't know that I want to I guess I can't take them off any more than I already have. Are 
these sources are very, very low. Queen. Got some honey anyway, uncapped. That's good there. Got some brood, some honey. Fresh eggs. And it's cold outside. I don't want to keep these uncovered for very long. All right, stick that back in there. Nothing. Not see the queen here. She's got to be in there. All right, frame back in. Let's get a beetle trap up and moving. Trying to do this as quick as I can. Cause I'm really aggravating them. It's cold, and I got here this morning. It was 37 degrees. Gloves. And in Florida, we're hitting 80s. I think we had a high of 52 or 53. And we got rain coming in this afternoon also. All right, traps in. Now for the next batch. Hmm. Do this real careful too. Ah, I think it's not gonna go as smooth as I want. I'm gonna wedge my fingers in here. Get this whole thing to flip. Perfect. If I could find that queen in here. A couple of the givens that she's not. Let's try to find her real quick before she decides to drop down. Well, we still got some bee bread, some honey up in there. So they have some food. The Kentucky better start. Popping out some food for our bees. So we got some drones. They're already starting to produce their drones. Up, oh, got the queen, good. Oh, and she's small too. And what's funny is they're not marked. They're not marked. Those two queens I've already found have not been marked. So I'm wondering if they superseded her I wouldn't have thought, but all right, battle trap, sugar. Let's drop the sugar down in there. Okay, choke. We're still getting a little testy. Let me get another trap up and running. Another trap in place. All right, both of these confirmed. We have queens. Now I need a lid. Actually, box top. 
<laughs> I'm wondering if I should just keep these boogers as close as I can together. And we still got cold weather, but I think we're coming out of it. So I'm gonna keep the insulation off and take my run with this in hopes that we're still successful when we come back. And I'll know when we come back at the end of the month. Plan on coming back in April. So what I got left is to put that on top of there, but let me find out if I got a clean in here already. All right, well, here we go. Find this queen. Take out a known frame that doesn't have anything. Slide these way over. One thing I don't like going in, in a win after the winter is there's so much maintenance to do to the hive. Cleaning up frames. And you know, I didn't give you any pictures of the frames. No queens. No queen. Ah, so here's some evidence. They already tried to make another queen cell. However, it's upside down. So we need to find out what happens to that queen cell. A lot more brood. Lots of cat brood, looking really good. Still no evidence of a queen. Got a feeling that queen is in that other box. I'm gonna shove them all back over. Get a trap ready to go for the beetles. So I got a bottom. I have one migratory lid that's toast. So I have to literally take this whole hive away now. Okay. You know what's funny? I think I'm missing a lid somewhere. And it might be back in that wood line. Because I had four colonies, but I've only got enough for three boxes. Stink. <laughs> Definitely short, a top. Guess I gotta go hunting in the woods for it. All right, well, in the meantime, get my old trap up. All right, beetle trap's in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this box and then I'm gonna take what's in there and put it on here. That way I can better track that queen. Stink. That sucks. And the other part that sucks is the part I need to check is on the bottom. Because there should not be a queen in that upper part. Okay, 
here's where the queen should be. Givens, they're not in here. Got some honey. More honey. Got some drone brood. Well, they'll be happy to get their queen back. Oh, there's a drone. Good. Now show me that queen. Where are you at? Lots of drones hatching. Lots of fresh eggs, good. I know she's in here then. So they'll be happy to get her queen back. Pretty positive she's on one of these frames. Another drone. Stick that back in there. Yeah, definitely got some fresh eggs, so she's hiding. she's in there so that's good all right that's extra top I think I'm gonna leave that top off Curious, curious, curious. Let's look in this box. She should not be up here at all. We got some resources at least. Good. Nothing but resources. All right, I could take this whole box and put it right on top.
this had some weight to it, so I know that there's plenty of honey in there to get them by. I'm not gonna put the other box. Oh, yeah. Went ahead, took that other honey super, put it back on top. I'm not gonna put the empty box on top just to keep the size down. So I wanna strap these hives down and be ready to go. So now I gotta go find the other top. I know I destroyed one, but there still should be another one out there. This is actually the bottom of one of my hives. I'll bet you it was the one that wasn't uh, very active. And that was dead already, so it was pretty light. It's amazing how quickly things can change and how powerful weather can be. Thank goodness Philip decided to make the trip to Kentucky and save our bees, and he did as much as he could by himself with the other devastation. We have a trip coming up in a few weeks, and I'm sure some of those jobs will be at the top of the list as we repair the damage done by the windstorm in Kentucky. Friends, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that button. We're almost to our goal of 1,000 subscribers, and we can't do it without you. We'll see you next time.